Hi everyone and welcome to an all new episode of The History Gal. Today's episode is all about arts and entertainment enjoyed by those wonderful Tudor monarchs. See, the Tudor dynasty began right after the Wars of the Roses and moved through the English Reformation. So this area saw a ton of change and one of those main changes was in arts and entertainment. Known for their celebrations, their court theatrics, and music, Tudor monarchs were among the people who really supported the most famous and best known artists in all of English history. One of the most common forms of art during this period was portrait painting. Painters became less focused on religious meanings and they began to emphasize the art of painting a likeness of a real life man or woman. These pieces of art are colorful and they depict monarchs covered in rich fabrics and jewelry, all of which symbolize power, wealth, and peace. In addition to the large detailed portraits, another development of this time is the miniature portrait. These were made small enough to fit inside of jewelry like lockets or rings or even small frames so that family members could carry them around with them. One of the best known artists at Tudor court was named Hans Holbein and he painted the most famous portrait of Henry VIII. He's also responsible for the highly dramatized portrait of Anne of Cleves which was used to negotiate her marriage with Henry VIII. Because Henry VIII didn't think Anne of Cleves was actually beautiful in real life, Hans Holbein actually feared for his life. But don't worry, he survived the king's wrath. He was also a great jeweler and made several pieces of royal jewelry which were given as gifts to Anne Boleyn. In the later Tudor era under Elizabethan reign, portraits were expanded so that they didn't just include the head and upper body of their subjects, but now they included the full body of their subjects with rich and colorful backgrounds. Another art form that really became popular at this time was tapestry making. See, England was starting to make a lot more wool and fabric, so these extravagant orders for tapestries really increased the wealth of several English cities. Not only did the tapestries on the walls keep guests warmer in these stone homes, but they also were laced with cloth of gold so that they caught the light and quite literally sparkled in the banqueting hall. Henry VII, Henry VIII, and Elizabeth I are all credited for their contributions to music and theater during their reigns. Henry VII actually employed multiple acting groups from all over England, and he brought them to his court to perform for his parties. Henry VIII then became an active player, dancer, musician, and composer. Elizabeth I was also a huge fan of theater, and William Shakespeare came to his rise in her reign. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre was built in 1599. She was also known to have famous playwrights and casts come to court to perform. The Tudor era of literature is equally impressive. The great lawyer and humanist Sir Thomas More wrote the book Utopia, which is still in circulation today. Also, the poet Sir Thomas Wyatt became known as the father of the English sonnet. Many historians believe that he wrote love poems to Anne Boleyn, but we've only proven that three could be attributed to her, and two of those are unconfirmed. There's also an incredible document called the Devonshire Manuscript, which was started by three noble women at Tudor Court. It was a blank notebook that they passed around to their friends and their family members, and they encouraged those people to write original love poems and their favorite quotes. This source still exists today, and it is an incredible testament to the culture of literature and the impact of women at Tudor Court. You guys, there is so much more to know about arts and entertainment at Tudor Court. I encourage you to check out our info section below for more book recommendations, articles, and videos. Don't forget to leave your questions and comments about Tudor Arts and Entertainment either on this video or on our Facebook page. Your question might end up in a future episode. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great week.